Hello there! Last week we showed you how to make a tunic using the decorative stitches on your domestic machine to use as a beach cover-up. This week we're going to be doing a similar project, but we'll be using an embroidery machine to create the decorative front and side slits. Please refer to last week's video for pattern ideas and adjustments, as well as fabric suggestions. Before you cut out the facings, we're going to embroider a tunic neckline design that we will use for the front and side slit facings. Many embroidery digitizing companies will have a tunic style design in their catalogs. If you search necklines, you'll often get several options. For my example, I'll be using a design I found on embroiderydesigns.com. The thread I'll be using today is called Polyfast. Polyfast is a 100% polyester thread. It has a lovely shine, and the polyester withstands water and sun well, so the design won't fade if the tunic is left tossed on your beach blanket. First, cut two squares of fabric larger than your hoop, and a third square large enough to accommodate the front facing. Fuse interfacing to the underside of the fabric. I am then going to use a fusible tearaway stabilizer and fuse it to the interface side of the square. Hoop one of the smaller squares tightly in the correct size hoop for your chosen design. Run each color of the design, stopping after the first few stitches to trim the thread. You will repeat this whole process once more on the second smaller square to create the embellishments for the side slits. For the front facing, roughly draw the facing piece with a disappearing ink onto the larger rectangle. Then center it in the hoop before repeating the design. Once you have embroidered each piece, remove them from the hoop, trim all threads and gently tear away the stabilizer. Press. Now lay your pattern piece for the front external facing onto the larger embroidered piece and cut out being careful to center the design exactly to the front slit marking and leaving the center slit uncut. Fuse interfacing to the back facing piece, then join the facings and press the seams open. Run a row of stay stitching along the outside facing seam line and press the allowance to the wrong side of the facing along this line. Trim seam allowance to 3 8 inch. Now follow the instructions from the previous video for attaching the facing and top stitching it in place. If desired, choose a decorative stitch from your machine to stitch around the rest of the facing following the instructions from the previous video. The method is a bit different for the side slits. Mark and cut along the outside of your embroidered pieces to create a side seam facing keeping it the same width as your front facing and angle up in a V at the V'd end of the embroidery design. Mark a line up the center of the embroidered design, angling slightly to the desired pivot point. Stitch a line of stay stitching along this marked line Also, stay stitch along the outer edge of the facing on the seam line, press to the wrong side, then trim to 3 8 inch. Then cut up to the center, snipping into the exact center point. Hold the facing piece to the side edge of your tunic and mark the side seam where the center V ends.
Stitch the side seams of the tunic stopping one half inch before the marked point. Then snip to the end of your stitching. Now flip the last half inch to the marked point to the right side of the tunic. and stitch. Place the right side of the facing to the wrong side of the tunic and pin the point at the mark. Stitch along pins pivoting at the point and stopping the stitching at the marked hem edge. Trim the seam allowance, then turn and press. Turn up the hem allowance on the tunic front and back to the wrong side, turning in the raw edge, then press and stitch the hem. Stopping at the facing joining line of stitching. Turn under the bottom edge of the facing along the hem edge and press. Pin and edge stitch the slit facing in place along the press line, back stitching at ends. Finally, hand stitch the bottom edge of the facing to the hem edges of the tunic. If you own an embroidery machine, an embroidered tunic makes a fun, folkwear inspired beach cover up. Thanks for tuning in. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you would like to see next. We'll see you all then.